Hello everyone! Oh my gosh, it's been a very long time since my last video. Uh, well, it's been a while since I've recorded a video, but depending on when I get all my these videos up that I have recorded, it will probably be like, you know, a few seconds between videos. Well, between uploads, but it will be like days between actual recording days but obviously today is a book review and I'm very cold right now I just turned my heater on so you might hear that and I am going to get to this video because I want to get this done I want to finish up Criminal Minds season 9 the um, the new season that just came out on disc I know probably season 10 is probably out right now. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't gotten to the end of this se season. But that's what I'm guessing is up on television right now. So yes. I'm on disc 5. And that and this is episode... Uh, the And there's four episodes on each disc. So this one, I think this, I believe this one is episode 2. So I'm very, I'm nearly finished it, but I'm going to get to this book review so that I can continue watching the TV series. I want to get that done. And to get, once I have that done, I can finally upload uh, or start compiling and then uploading YouTube videos because those need focus from my brain. So, because I need to watch the videos, but yeah, let's get into this. I've just finished Copper Beach by Jean Ann Krentz. Um, I have read I read this previously, but as I told you before, I had finished uh, Dream Eyes, which is book two in the Dark Legacy novel, not Dark Legacy, Dark Legacy series. There's two books in there, so I don't know why it's called a novel. But anyway, um, there were things happening in that book that I were vaguely familiar but I couldn't remember exactly so I put this on hold because this is the first book and I like this book in the series because this actually there's a lot more in this book there's um, even though yes I have realized that this romance does happen very fast but it's written in a way that it takes our heroine time to realize that she can let this happen. And the other one, it just, yeah, it's not something I particularly was happy about. It just felt too rushed and too fast. But this one, I felt it took its time. And there are other things in this book that I thought happened in this book, but actually didn't happen in this book because I just finished it like this um summit kind of thing where or um, a gala where people are dressed up like it's a paranormal party thing where it's a very fancy black tie kind of party and where um, the hero and heroine, the hero takes the heroine too because it's during the time, and then the hero's brother is uh, kind of meets someone that is friends with their heroine, but that didn't happen in this book. I'm I'm pretty sure it happened in one of her books, like one of her possibly one of her present time books, because it felt like it was during that time, like present day like day um, but I I can't remember what book it what, what book it is um, yeah uh, this is one of out of the two this is one of my favorite one of my fav more favorite books um, uh, and um, I like this, uh, what they go through and stuff that they have to figure out. 
I just like this look, this book better. And even though the romance was again rushed, I feel I feel it rushed, but it took its time again. It's rushed and it took its time at the same time, to as to where I like the romance. Sadly, I don't have enough to say about this other than last no, because most of this video we talk about CS Criminal Minds. Um, I do recommend reading this book, especially if you're going to. Yes, I do recommend this book. This is a good book, and one of my personal favorite of the Dark Legacy series. I can't wait to because I I think it actually is following. Um, the, um, the Copper Smith Brothers. And uh, I think I have read about the, the Copper Smith Brothers in another book, because I remember, like, when you read Dream Eyes, it says, um, the hero and heroine. Judson and Gwen, those are the two that, their names, that they've met before, and they had the spark. And I remember reading something about that. Like, it was, like, in, uh, in the mind mindset of, um, Sam and Abby, I think, one of the two, and at this, like, very gala thing where they have to wear gowns and stuff and like you it's like like they meet together in a group and it's just like you're watching Gwen and Judson meet for the first time kind of thing like me maybe I read it in a different book I'm not sure but I know it was like a the um the paranormal kind of science that Jane Ann Krentz writes about. If any of you know what I'm talking about or like, you know, have read a book by her with that scene and what I'm talking about, please leave a comment down below or leave me a comment on my Facebook, like my author page Facebook or my one of my DeviantArt accounts, either one. Just let me know that um, you had watched this video, or even link this video, just to let me know that, okay, you watched this video and let me know this, so that I'm not a little crazy and wondering who the hell you are. <laughs> yes, I'm a little weird like that. Um, I, okay, but yes, I do recommend reading this book. This is a very good book. Um... I definitely would like, I definitely do like reading this book, but for a while there, I wasn't just, I wasn't at, at I wasn't reading for some reason. Pro like, probably because I have just hooked my Xbox 360 up to wireless internet and have a free app on there to use YouTube and watch YouTube videos on there, and I've been watching Ingrid Nielsen, whom I will put in the doobly doo below. And I'm watching her, and I freaking love her, and she's doing Blogmas. She didn't do Blogmas last year for reasons I can't remember, and I don't think she remembers. But whatever. She's doing Blogmas on her vlogging channel, and she's doing Gridmas on her main channel, which is like she does. DIY kind of gifts and decorations. She's doing, um, she shows off some clothes that she suggests that you can wear during the holidays for events and parties. Um, makeup that is good around this time, and she does, um, monthly favorites. She's already done November, so probably maybe about week, the first week of January, we'll see, um, what her December favorites were. Uh, and yeah, I've been watching her, so if there's a reason why I w this took so long to finish. Yeah. Read this book, it's, it's really good. Especially for those of you who are Jane Ann Krentz 
and Amanda Quick and Jane Castle fans, because this is her real name. Um, her pseudonyms are Amanda Quick, which is her historical romance novels, and Jane Castle is her futuristic, uh, futuristic romance novels. Like they are done like maybe like, fifty years in the future. Like th literally, they're like as far as I know, they are futuristic books. I haven't read one yet. I do have a bunch, like, I probably think there's three in the Arcane Society series. I haven't gotten to that yet. All I've read is, um, all I've read is Quicksilver and, uh, um, Second Sight. Second Sight is the uh, first book of the series, and it's from... Uh, her historical side, like it's done in the in Victorian Regency age, and so is Quicksilver. So there's, there, I've read, I actually read Quicksilver. No, I read Second Sight, but I listened to Quicksilver on a like it was in like an audiobook. So, and somehow, um. She is now connecting this to her Arcane Society. I'm pretty sure that we're going to get into the Arcane Society in, her, in the third book, which is most likely about Sam and Judson's sister, Emma. I think I talked about this in the Dream Eyes um, video. I'm not 100% sure, but you'll probably have watched it. Um, I don't think the arcane the arcane society was finished before this, so I have to find out what the heck's going on there. Which is not going to be for a good while. I'm probably going to get to read about Emma before I get to read the arcane society. But yeah, that's this book. And now I'm on to this book, this book series, Vicious by Sarah Shepard. A pre Little Liars series book. And as it says right here, the dramatic series finale. It's the last book of the series. Oh my god. I am so excited about this. Oh my god. I've, uh, I've kind of been wanting another Pretty Little Liar book because I really love reading this book series. And they are not whiny like most other kind of teen series books like Twilight, Hunger Games, uh, House of Night, Vampire Diaries. Uh, the only series I actually have read is the, is the House of Night, but I've watched the Twilight series and that's pretty whiny. I've se I have uh, volume one of Vampire Diaries, so I eventually will read it because I own it, um, but I've seen the TV series like, I've seen clips of stuff, and it's just, like, ugh, not my thing. Even though I do really like vampires. I think I like more the classical one. Or something. And, uh, is there anything else? I can't remember, but whatever. I am so excited for this. I am so excited. I am a little sad that this is the last book, but, like, it's finally the last book. Like, it, there's been, like, 16 books already. I think this is book 16. I'm actually going to go into here. Uh, Alright, I don't think I have it here, which means I have to go on to Google. I have to go on to Google, which I'm doing right now. I'm looking for... Yes. Oh, it looks like the new TV series might be coming out soon on disc because I see a, um, I don't know, maybe, because I see a picture of the, why do I have two internets up? Oh, I know why. But it's a Pretty Little Liars cover, which most likely will be used for, um, on the box set of the disc when you buy the discs, they have like these pretty covers on it, and it has five porcelain faces because 
as some of you know, Allie is back in the picture. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I need the... I'm going to the official website. Because that's where I'm going to find out what's going on. You know, it's being kind of ridiculous right now. It's being a little slow, but we can wait. I'm going to read back here. All good lies must come to an end. Last. Okay. It's still being ridiculous, so we're going to read the insert. In Rosewood, Pennsylvania, reporters are lined up outside the historical courthouse typing furiously at their iPhones with freshly manicured nails. Wow. <laughs> that is like the most ri like richest place that their reporters are typing on iPhones with manicured nails. Just, oh my gosh. But it's amazing. Because the trial of the century is happening right here in Rosewood. The four pretty little liars have been accused of killing Allison De Laurentiis. Only Ar Aria, Spencer, Hannah, and Emma, sorry, my eye is like freaking itchy, know that they have been framed. Allie is still out there, laughing as she watches the girls go down for her murder. But when your nickname includes the word liar, no one believes you're telling the truth. Arya tries to run away from it all, but finds that life on a lamb is even harder than life as a liar. Spencer gets in touch with someone who can help her disappear, but when a guy from her past reemerges, Spencer no longer knows what she wants. Hannah decides that she'll hear wedding bells chime before she serves time, and in the face of pr and in the face of prison, Emily does something truly drastic. Something that will change her friends' lives forever. As the trial goes on and the outcome looks grim, the girls are in the darkest hour yet. But maybe they can finally figure out how to beat Allie at her own game. Because once upon a time, she was just a pretty little liar too. Alright, the uh, website is finally back up. So we are going to check out the books. And I'm going to count how many books are there. So this is book 16 of the series. On the final one, it's like, oh my god, so many books in this series. Ugh. Like, this is even longer than um, the House of Night series, and that had 12 books. This has six more books added. So yeah. We are going to... Next, I want the next page. Oh, and I don't know if you can tell, but this is called Vicious. I don't know if I said that first. Oh, to Henry. I don't know who Henry is. If you want a happy ending, that depends, of course, on where your story, on where you stop your story. Orson Welles. Well. That's the last of it. There's also, um, there's a Pretty Little Liars, um, winter break thing book. It tells about what happened, happened on their winter break. And then there's an Allie's Pretty Little Lies, which is about Courtney and how what happened to her basically up to the point where she dies i'm guessing well i read that book i remember reading that book i didn't read the um the winter break one because i just uh, yeah. 
I prefer just reading like the original original 16 books. Um, yeah. Let's this is the last of it. There's nothing else to tell you. As far as I can tell, there's no other continuations of it. There's apparently a new series coming out called The Perfectionists. Because there's a little ad in the back here. So, this is going to be next. And so far, this is the last book from the library. So after this, I will be able to get back to my own personal library collection. So, um... So that's the end of uh, that's all the books. Um, I want to talk to you about two other things. Uh, the giveaway that I'm doing, I am actually going to be canceling that because no one else is really um, another thing, and I don't even remember. Whatever, whatever. That's kind of being put on hold, kind of, because I actually want to use the bag for next year for a Christmas giveaway. So I'm going to fill that with. Um, stuff that I get on Black Friday and like just sale stuff so that I'm gonna get that give that stuff away uh, I will talk about it again later probably well obviously next year around Christmas uh, that's when I'm gonna talk about that um, and I um, I want to, I've been inspired by Ingrid to do vlogmas myself but I pulled this out, which is my my own camera and the first camera I ever got. But it's no longer working. It doesn't work anymore. So I've taken out the um, my little SD card that well that holds all this more stuff on there. And I need to buy a new camera so that I can start doing vlogmas. And because I just I want to do that and I want to show you like I want to show you how I make cookies and that seems the easiest way instead of using my laptop which is really silly and I just want to I want to show you stuff like around Christmas time because I feel very happy around Christmas time especially when I have bought as much shit sorry stuff that I've bought for on Black Friday and then the other days after it, which about soon I will be upload. I have to compile my Black Friday video and then I will upload it and you will see all the stuff that I bought. It's so much. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna get more of that stuff next year. So yeah. Um, that's all I really wanted to cover. Two books, the giveaway thing, and Vlogmas camera stuff. So I'm actually gonna go because I want to finish my Criminal Minds and I want to get stuff done. And I've been talking about my hair in my videos, and I finally got it to like where I like it. I um, I have I still have to get the right uh, shampoo conditioner because apparently I need to stop using. Uh, volumizer because I don't need that much that much in my hair especially because I have uh, fine delicate hair I even talked to a hairdresser who has fine delicate hair like herself and just, so I I will show you stuff I will talk about stuff like that in my own December favorite thing because I will talk about that stuff um, I have, I do have a new blow dryer, which I will, sh it will be showing you in my, um, Black Friday video, and it has a delicate, fine, delicate hair setting, which I use on my hair, but I've also watched on a YouTube vid that sometimes using the blow dryer causes, like, frizziness. And I don't need frizziness in my on my hair because that just it's not pretty. And the light is changing over here, which is why I was so bright like a few minutes ago, and now it's like normal-ish. But anyway, my hair and I've used a smoother, which I had I used previously, but 
then stopped using because I, I thought it was doing stuff that, that bad stuff to my hair. But I've started using it again, and only one single pump, and it just, it makes my hair touchably smooth and soft and playable, which is what I'm doing right now with it, and I no longer have, like, wrath nest under here because I use this other, yeah. My hair is, like, feeling so much better, and I am very happy about that. I am going to stop this video. Because, again, I want to watch Criminal Minds. Okay.